Hi, welcome to Gouache with Anne. Today I'm going to paint some flowers. I'm going to paint some tiger lilies from the Montreal's Botanical Gardens and I'm going to paint a bunch of them which uh, look quite lovely with the orange against the green. So to get started I'll do a nice little uh, pencil, quick pencil drawing just to get some of the main shapes in and get a sense of of what the, the pen painting might look like. Uh, as I'm uh, working with the pencil, I kind of imagine the colors that I'm gonna use and how I'm gonna treat the different areas. So you can see I've already started uh, by just laying down a quick wash uh, with the gouache, so using lots of water. And I've got a bit of the orange for the lilies and I've got the greens, different greens for the uh, background leaves. First, I'm going to concentrate on painting the flowers. Um, I'm going to try to get their main shapes down. I'm going to add a little bit of the lights and darks and keep adjusting that as I go along. I also want to have the, uh, the flowers that are in the foreground will be more finished uh, than the, the bits of color that are in the background. So I'm concentrating on the shapes of the petals. So I want to get those to look like uh, a tiger lily shape. And uh, I can also, you can also see that the background is very dark and the uh, tiger lilies are quite light. So once I get the main shape down, then I'm going to start adding the lights to, to lighten them up. Uh, with gouache, light colors dry darker. So I will keep adjusting uh, as things are drying to get them to the, to the right value. And value is the lightness and the darkness of a color. Now that I'm working on the flowers uh, themselves, and now I'm working on the light and the dark within the flower, I, uh, I spend a lot of time adjusting. I add a color and then I wait for it to dry or I s put another color, another shade beside it. And uh, slowly I build up uh, the flower to look to, to, so it looks more realistic. So I'm still working on, on getting the lights and darks and uh, putting in a few of the, the lines, which I'll continue to do e even after I, I do the background. What I've decided to do with the background is I'm going to put in uh, more solid colors in the different areas uh, darker where it's dark and, and then lighter where it's, it's uh, it's more of a, light, a lighter background. And uh, after that, I'll start putting in the, in a lighter value, the, uh, the leaves. Uh, it's, this background is really nice because you can see that the leaves make a lovely pattern and there's a, there's a lot of sort of negative spaces and uh, I'll make sure to, to get those in because uh, that, will, that will add a, ni a nice texture. So I'm also putting in a few dots of uh, some purple. I can see some purple leaves and uh, that adds a nice uh, variation to, to the overall painting. So now you can see I've, I'm adding the, uh, the, the leaves in different shades and you can see where the, the quite interesting patterns with the, the lights and the darks and the negative spaces. The final touches are adding the details to the tiger lilies, the stamen, and some of the lines that are on the flowers, petals themselves. At this point, I'm just adding a few little highlights here, highlights there. It's probably not so necessary, but it's 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 enjoyable putting in the final details. So 
So here's the final painting and uh, I, I like the way it turned out. I think uh, if I did another one, uh, which I probably will do because I'm enjoying doing the flowers, I'll try and do it a little bit looser and we'll see how that looks. But I hope you enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss out on any videos, please subscribe. You can hit the subscribe button below. And on either side, you on the left, you can click and watch last week's video. On the right, you can see the gouache playlist. And uh, we'll see you next time.